Hey, I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to do a full backup on your iPhone. So to get you up to speed on where I'm right now, I have went ahead and loaded my iTunes. So clicked on iTunes and brought up iTunes. I've connected up my iPhone to my computer and then I've clicked on the iPhoto, or I'm sorry, the, um, the phone icon that's typically located up here and then it changes to over here once you click on it and uh, just forgive me that I've lowered the screen here uh, from the top to avoid you seeing my personal information but what you need is right here so um, so you don't have to worry about the, the top part so from this point what you're gonna wanna do is click on this computer and also encrypt iPhone backup now what this is gonna allow you to do is make a complete image of your phone, your settings, your email, and just everything, your, your photos, everything but your music. So go ahead and put in a simple password. I just put in password uppercase P word one and then pass word one. That way I'll never forget it, but you can set it however you want to. If you go remember in my keychain, it'll actually enter it in for you when you do the restore. And then set the password. Um, the password you enter to protect your record not be set. Please try again. Didn't like my password, huh? There we go. So then, um, once it does the backup, now, then it'll take about three minutes. It's just going to back up only your phone. Once it backs up your phone, like I said, all of your pictures, your contacts, your messages, your settings, your ringtone, your background, I mean, it's great. It backs up everything. The only thing it leaves out in the first backup is your apps. So what you're going to have to do is then click on the backup now again, or not again, but backup now, and then it's going to pop up saying, hey, would you like to back up your apps? But before you do that, you're going to want to go up here to store and then authorize this computer when you and it's working right now so it's not going to let me do it but once it gets done it's going to, get to be available and you say authorize this computer now you put your iCloud handle in there so like mine is you know handle at iCloud.com and then you put in your password and now it'll say hey this computer has now been authorized what that's going to do is it's going to allow all the apps that you've downloaded with that iCloud handle to also be backed up to the computer. Now this is going to save you from having to download all of your apps and then like do all of your games over again and save all of your games or make your progress through your games. So it's great. It just takes an absolute mirror image. Now some things you got to be concerned with or aware of is if you're backing up like this is a 32 gig iPhone and then you're going to a 16 you want to make sure to have only the backup file be less than 12 gigabytes because even though it's a 16 gig iPhone the available space is actually 13.2 I think uh, but you have to have at least one gig of free memory so you need to be below 12 gigs to be on the safe side the same same thing applies with a 64 going to a 32 now if you're going the other way you're going from a 16 to a 32 and it doesn't really matter uh, you could go a full 16 over to a 32 and it'll take over the image. You just need to make sure the version is the same. So it might ask you for you know, a software update or something like that. So we're just wrapping up this backup and then I'll show you what you have to click on to back up your apps. And again we are in a time continuum black hole because five seconds here is actually 30 seconds. and done. You ever play that game where you're trying to figure out when it finishes? Ready? Go! Thank you. Okay, so now this finished up and then you're gonna, don't forget to go up to the store and then go authorize this computer. You put in the iCloud handle that you normally download your stuff with at iCloud.com and then put in your password which again that's all fake information but you would push authenticate 
Now you click a backup now again. Now it's going to say, would you like to backup your apps? And now it's going to backup all of your apps. Now, if you don't authorize your computer, what it's going to come up with is an error that says, I'm sorry, you know, however many apps that are downloaded erred because your computer wasn't authorized. And then you'll have to go back into the store and authorize them again. Now, some of them might have been downloaded with a different iCloud account, so just go in and authorize that other iCloud account as well. So, like I said, I didn't authorize, so it's going to come up with, well, right now it's trying to transfer them. And this will take a little bit longer. This will take, like, maybe 15 minutes. But uh, these are all the apps that didn't want to work. So it'll come up with that error. So if this error comes up, go up here to Store, Authorize. Now, once you've done your backup of your apps, make sure to go back into your store and deauthorize this computer so that way you can leave open your computers that are authorized. You're allowed five. And that completes a tutorial on how to uh, complete your backup on your phone. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it.